While we enjoy our warm evening, the new concerns about the long-term future of the Sierra snowpack. A team of scientists out of Berkeley say we should plan for less snow in the coming mm. decades. KPI X5's Max Darrow on what we can do about it. When we think of water storage here in California, many of us immediately picture the reservoirs. But the snowpack also plays a critical role in water storage, and now a team of experts says we have to prepare to have less of it. There's definitely an urgency to snow loss, right? It's one of the major uh, management criteria that we built our infrastructure around. It nearly doubles our surface reservoir storage in the state. Alan Rhodes is a research scientist at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and the co-lead author of this paper published in the journal Nature Reviews Earth and Environment, a low to no snow future and its impacts on water resources in the western United States. One big takeaway from the paper, by the year 2050, the Sierra Nevada and other western ranges could see snow loss of about 20%. If steps aren't taken to combat climate change, that loss could be more than 50% by the end of the century. Carbon emissions are leading to larger amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Those greenhouse gases create a blanket over the planet. That blanket leads to higher temperatures. And the freezing point of water, as I said before, is non-negotiable. Therefore, some snow will be replaced by rain, meaning less snowpack, which would leave the lower elevations without the spring and summer melt-off we're used to. Snow is about 30% of our annual water consumption here in, in, in California. Jeffrey Mount is a senior fellow at the Public Policy Institute of California's Water Policy Center. It's a nonpartisan organization that tries to find solutions to water challenges. We will probably never be without snow in our mountains, but it's just we're looking at less and less and less of it. So it is, a, is going to become increasingly unreliable. It's an alarming prospect, but Rhodes says there's a silver lining to their findings. We have time to proactively adapt to a low to no snow future, and we have plenty of smart folks in academia, water management, and in private industry, and also policymakers that are thinking about this. Climate change is not some future thing. Uh, it's happening right now. We're seeing it in real time. We have got to make some major investments and some major decisions today, which will help us out tomorrow. Max Darrow, KPIX 5.